hey, I got a sweater out of two skeins of yarn. Hello, my name is Amanda. Welcome to Birch in the Lake. This is my channel where I talk about all of the crafty things that I've been up to over the past couple weeks. Today is episode 109. I have some fun stuff to show you this episode. I may have finished something that you've never seen cast on before. Maybe this? <laughs> Um, and just a couple other things to show you. It's going to be a knitting heavy episode this week. I've mostly been knitting. I've done the teensiest little bit of cross stitch, but not enough to really warrant showing you. So it's all going to be knitting this week. Hopefully that's okay. If you miss the cross stitch, I'll try and make sure I have some for you again in two weeks to show, but knitting this week. Two things before we get started. First of all, if you want to find me other places on the internet, namely my website, my Instagram, all of that will be linked down below in the description. And if you're interested in joining me for a make-along, the Bloom Baby Bloom make-along is still running until July 1st. Basically, all it entails is to knit or crochet something that is flower-themed, flower-inspired, flower or flower something. If you can prove to me that it has something to do with flowers, you have an entry. Um, so all the information for that will be in the description as well, but I would love if you would join in on that with me and with Tracy of Grizzly Knits, who I am co-hosting the Make Along with. Um, I did just hear from someone a couple days ago, so we have another prize coming in for the Make Along that they have donated. So I'm super excited about that. I'll make sure I show you said prize when it arrives at my house. Um, but yeah, let's, let's jump into some making. Um, like I said, finished object. I don't know if you remember the yarn I showed last episode that I had got from Spun in Ann Arbor. Um, it is Fiber Story in the colorway cake. I was in love with it. I wanted to make something out of it, and so I did. And apparently, I knit it really fast. Uh, so let me show you the sweater first, and then we'll get into some stuff, obviously, that I have to say about it. But this is The Plant Lady by uh, Agatha of Amanita Knits. And I've had to modify it ever so slightly, and we'll get into, oh look, I can sit like I did last time. <laughs> Um, we'll get into what I've had to do to modify it. Namely, the main thing being, she is cropped. <laughs> um, I was not planning to make it cropped, but it's cropped. It's basically just a really nice boxy sweater. Nothing super out of the ordinary, I guess. Let me stand up. Yeah, okay. That, <laughs> that shows it better than me sitting. Um, it's, it's very cute. I love it, but it was supposed to be about this length. Um, I think the pattern called, here, I'm gonna move in again. And then if I need to show more, I can show more. But uh, I feel weird standing like that and not seeing my face on the camera. <laughs> um, so the body called to knit the length to 14 and a half inches. Um, and I could not do that. Um, I was knitting the size small. Pattern said I would need about two skeins of yarn to knit the sweater. It had given me yardage and stuff too. I'd calculated that. All of it looked good. I hit gauge and then I hit <laughs> where I was to separate for the sleeves and like knit the front and back. This is knit bottom up by the way. So you knit the whole body and then you hit about here. Yeah. And then you split, do the front, the back, connect them, do the sleeves. Once I hit the split part, I had like no yarn left already. I think I weighed it and I think I have the yarn on me still here one sec to show you what I have left. Um, I weighed it and I think I only had 80 grams left at the point I split. Then I started doing the back and I was like, oh yeah, it like I'll, I'll just keep going. The pattern says it'll be fine. It's close. Like you're cutting it close with yarn, but it'll be fine. And then I got all the way up to the back end of the back and I only had I think 35 grams left and I knew it was not going to happen and I was not going to have enough. So I ripped out the back of the body, got back to like just where I was knitting in the round for this portion um, and I ripped it back to being 10 inches. Yeah, 10 inches. And this is all I have left at the completion, with a hair apparently, at the completion of the sweater. 
not very much. Should we grab my scale? I haven't weighed it. I'm curious, actually. Let us, let us weigh this. We'll take the tag out so it's super accurate. I have eight grams left. So, yeah. There, there was no way I was going to be able to knit this to 14 and a half inches long. So basically what I'm saying, beautiful pattern. I love how it fits me. Um, I do wish it was a little bit longer because that's what I thought I was getting when I picked it. Not that I don't mind the crop. It's cute. Um, but there's no way you're knitting a size small with two skeins, which makes me think that every size in the whole pattern is off on yardage on how much you would need to knit. I don't know why I was still sitting back there. Um, but that makes me think every single size is off on yardage. So what I am basically saying is if you want to knit this pattern, get more yarn than it calls for. If you want it to be to what the pattern like looks like on the photos and stuff. Because there's no way I was going to get a size small out of the two skeins that it called for. And the yardage was right. So it the way the pattern is written, um, it says for like size small, for example, you'll need two skeins and then it tells you the yarn that they used and how much yardage is in the skeins that you, they used. So doesn't give you yardage right away. You kind of have to do a little bit of math to figure it out. But I had exactly what it called for for yardage. So... I don't know what's going on there, but it's still cute and I'm still really happy with it. And hey, I got a sweater out of two skeins of yarn. It's cropped. It's a little bit different than what I was expecting, but it's still really cute. So I will be happy with it. I am happy with it. Not I will be happy with it. Um, I am happy with it. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Um, despite that, I, so I had to drop down quite a bit in needle size. I dropped down, I think from a 3.75 millimeter couldn't tell you what that is in US, to a three millimeter, which is a US 2.5. And then for the ribbing, I can't remember what it was, maybe a three millimeter for the ribbing. And I dropped down to a 2.5 millimeter, which is US 1.5. Um, so obviously the designer of the pattern knits really, really tight and I do not. So I had to drop down quite a few needle sizes, which is why gauge is important. It did not save me in this instance but it's still important because I had to drop down a lot. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. So like I said, this yarn is from Fiber Story. The colorway is cake. It's a hundred percent super wash merino. It's super soft and cozy and I love the color. It's just, it, it's cake. <laughs> it, it reminds me of Funfetti cake. So very happy with this, despite the issues. The neckline I think is really pretty and flattering and I like that it's just a tea. It's kind of perfect for that springy, in between spring and summer weather. So it's cute. I love it. Um, yeah, that that's about all I have to say. <laughs> if you have any questions, if you're wanting to knit this and you want me to explain yardage issues a little bit better, because I think that was a little rambly, let me know. I will happily try and help you figure out yardage. Because otherwise the pattern was great. It was easy to follow just the yardage was very, very off. And I wish I had one more skin because I could have made it like a full length T then. So is what it is. Anyways, that is my only finished object. I have two works in progress, which <laughs> um, because I knit this sweater in two weeks, I really didn't work on anything else. I was just working on this. So yesterday I was sitting down to write my show notes for this episode and I was like, oh, I have nothing to talk about. And I had like just, just finished the sweater. So I went on a cast on rampage and cast on two things. So we will show you those. First of all, I have a pair of socks. I've been meaning to cast these on forever. These are the bits and bobs socks. Uh, the pattern looking at my notes here is by Morgan Panic. Panic? P-A-N-I-C-H. That's gotta be Panic, okay? Anyways, um, so these are a pair of scrappy socks and I've been meaning to do something like this forever. I have so much scrap sock yarn that I want to use up that I just haven't. So I won't bother to show you all of the cakes of yarn because it's just a bunch of scraps that I've used throughout the years. Um, but these are the socks. Are those not adorable? They are so cute and I don't know what's going on with my yarn here, but they are just so cute. 
I am a huge fan. I got this pattern actually in my Wilbury Advent from the past year, so my 2021 Wilbury Advent. It was included, and I meant to knit it with my Wilbury Advent, but, and you can't see it, it's out of the frame, but the colors in that Advent ended up being really fady, and so you really couldn't see the color work, and so it didn't end up working, and I didn't, I, I think I had cast them on, and then I ended up tearing them out because it didn't work, but now that I've started these just with random scraps throughout my stash, they're so cute. I love them so much. Um, so I cast these on on 2.25 millimeter US1 needles, 64 stitches. Usually I would do 56, but because they're color work, um, I wanted to ensure I had enough stretch in them because I do have somewhat large calves. Um, so I did 64 and I'm happy with that so far. I'm going to be putting in a afterthought heel in these. I'm going to use uh, Lurksper Knits short, I think a shortbread heel. Um, but that afterthought heel fits me amazing. I find it fits similarly to a heel flapping gusset where a normal afterthought heel just slips off my foot. So I'm going to be doing the shortbread heel from Larkspur Knits and yeah. So I've got, these are all the colors I'm going to be using in the socks. I will reuse this cuff color for the heels and the toes. Um, and then the rest of these colors, I'm just gonna keep alternating in the same fashion throughout the whole sock. So loving them. I think they're adorable. And yeah, I knit all of this in like maybe two or three hours. Two hours? Two hours. So that says something too, <laughs> that they knit up that fast. They are just in one of my That Crafty Little Fox bags. I don't think I showed that when I started. This one, super cute. And bringing back my adorable Brooklyn Haberdashery bag that I absolutely love. The other thing that I cast on, I have the pattern here, I'll put a photo on the screen as well though, is the home sweater. I found, I believe it's pronounced Kadri. I found her patterns very recently and oh my goodness, they're so cute. They're very simple, but like super wearable, super everyday type patterns. So I'm so excited for this home sweater. I am knitting it out of something or some yarn that I learned about from Aro of Aro Knits and Pearls because <laughs> she is my obsession lately, apparently. Um, but I'm using Barocco Mochi. It's a mix of baby alpaca and merino and nylon. And it says two other, 2% 2 of something else. But <laughs> I am using the colorway from this line, Vanilla. The color number is 3202. This is a commercial yarn. It's very reasonably priced, super reasonably priced. Um, I'm knitting this sweater for under, under $100, which is very good for a hand knit sweater. Um, but here is a cake of it. So it's so fluffy and soft. And then it's got like just this rainbow of like colors going throughout the vanilla color of the yarn. It's so pretty and it's so soft. It feels soft Woo! as I'm losing it. It feels soft. Oh my gosh. Can we tell I'm on a color cake? Anyway, <laughs> um, like it feels soft in here, but then you knit it up and it feels like a literal cloud. Um, so I am loving working with it. And shockingly, I'm finding it easier to work with than like say holding mohair double with something or not that I can knit with mohair because I'm allergic, but like Surrey. If I hold Surrey double with another yarn, I find I'm always catching the Surrey or missing getting the Surrey like held double, I'll only grab the merino yarn and miss the surrey and then there's a stitch that doesn't have surrey. Can't do that with this because it's all in one fluffy thing. <laughs> so this is where I am. This looks really weird right now because, let me put it, put it on. This is how it's going to sit. So now obviously my hair is in the way, but that's the back of it and this is the, the front working into the v-neck. These look literally the same. Anyways, different sweaters. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. So yeah, it, it folds like this. And this is the back. So I am knitting the size medium. Um, I think 
think I ended up ordering six skeins for it and it should be plenty. Um, and then what needles am I using? I dropped down to a four millimeter needle, a US six, I think. Let me check my pattern. I've gotten a kick of printing patterns off again. Um, some things I still like using Knitting Companion for, like actually the bits and bob socks I do because it has a chart so I can like mark on the app where I am. Otherwise I've been enjoying printing it off lately. Um, who knows? Anyways, uh, what needle does this call for? US 8 five millimeter needles. So I dropped down a whole millimeter for my needles. Um, and I did hit gauge, so good to go on that. So yeah, I don't have tons done. Again, I started this yesterday, so I feel like I got lots done. And I'm going to keep working on it. I've been, I've been loving sweaters lately. Um, I am, and I think I've talked about this before, but I am the type of person who, like, falls in love with a certain thing, goes nuts with it, and then I won't do it again for a while. Um, so right now not doing socks we're doing sweaters and give it a couple months and I'll probably be doing all the socks again so <laughs> I go with what makes me happy because knitting's supposed to be fun right so that is what I'm doing anyways I apologize that this is such a short episode um but like I said I I really only worked on this sweater so I don't have tons to talk about but yeah I I hope I gave you some inspiration something you want to cast on now? Maybe? I don't know. If you have any questions, please ask me down below in the comments. I would love to talk to you. I would love to answer your questions. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Click the like button, click the notification button, so you know every time I have uploaded a new video. And yeah, I, I won't ramble on too long. I'll see you guys again in two weeks. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye!